cable runs. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Good day. Yeah, I'm <laughs> It goes down quite a way. Yeah, you nearly explored the full depth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can't see the no, it's a bit scary, isn't it? Well, oh, you'd love it in there, Rob. Stop for lunch at the cave, which is quite cool but very dangerous. I hit down here out the way of the wind and the rain that threatened to come and then didn't. over, back on the trail, <laughs> out in the field. It's definitely cloudy over there. Yes. No. Which way are we heading in, Master? Away from the clouds. That's good. Up and over, right. Uh, Boaz. It's tough going. really hard going but we're hoping in a couple of K a couple of kilometers we're gonna find path you never know this one I just wait for him to disappear <laughs> it's all right the rocks broke my fault <laughs> There's a nettle bit there, but it's not so bad here. Steps are strong, but they are slippery. Steps are strong, but slippery. I am the heaviest of the three. It's four o'clock. So we've been going. We've been going for uh, a good couple of hours from lunch, and I'm having fun. I'm now having fun. Whoa. Now we're out of that thick grass, and we're onto these lovely manicured footpaths that you see. It's um, 
that's really fun. It's a good adventure. So, uh, whew, nearly there, nearly there. We're looking for somewhere to camp, but we've got a couple of hours. I'll get left behind. just stopped um, by this babbling brook to uh, fill up on water. John's bought a Sawyer Mini and uh, Rob's got another filter which I forget the name of but um, yeah John's just refilled my bottle for me and uh, I've got, got a life straw that you can drink straight out the river but I wanted to have a bottle because we're going to head up the hill and uh, we're looking for an, for an old quarry now. I think we're going to camp in the quarry. Is it half past four? So we'll probably go for another hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours, and then uh, and then we'll stop and set up somewhere. But, so we just stop by this river, which is really beautiful. And, yeah, I'm having a good day. We made it. We made it. Rob's offering me beer, so uh, here's where we're camping. I'll set up in a minute, but I'm going to go and drink some beer first. <sighs> it's a lovely spot, though. Sun's going to set that way. We'll uh, we'll get there in a minute. But yeah, have a quick beer, and then pitch my tent, which is going to be difficult because it's a little bit rocky. But yeah, never mind. Boots are coming off soon. That'll be nice. Let's get some beer. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, fill it up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Have a little tilt there. Cheers. Thank you very much. Not much, but it's. Uh, Cheers, chaps. Token. Well done, lads. I miss Tink. Yeah. You're alright, but. Tink's a star, isn't she? She gave me the stink eyes I left. Mm. Oh. Oh. And pink eye. <laughs> oh, yeah. hey. Have another. Half a sip and he's anyone. Sort of flat. Sort of. That's where we come. This is the wild camp away. Eggs. Eggs. Bowls. Okay. Dent it. Give it dent. difficult to get the pegs in. Putting them in 
almost horizontally. Yeah. And then getting a big rock. And we're just weighting it down. And that's not bad. So that's the setting up. Almost there. So as I say, it's difficult to get the pegs in, so I've pegged them in horizontally and then a rock on each peg. And hopefully that's going to hold it down. I'd like to put a rock on the ones that are on the main body of the tent as well. I think I probably will. Chainsaw instead. driving on the tracks. I'll be on strike. Yeah, he'll be on strike. Okay. Well, we're all set up. Kind of. I've got my one beer. I've got my one beer for the evening until I break out the whiskey. Although there's a rumour that John's got red wine in a bag. Two and a half litres. Two and a half litres. I'll do my best to be nice to him for the rest of the evening. That's not too hard. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about the tent. I've not slept in it. I've only put it up in the garden. The ground's a little bit wobbly, but I think I should be sufficiently tired. I was up at five o'clock this morning around to Rob's house at six-ish and we picked John up and Rob kindly drove all the way here with no complaints. We did have a McDonald's breakfast so and it's a beautiful spot. You all done? I think so. Getting hungry, it's 20 to 7 and all is well. Oh yeah, I just I don't want to carry it all tomorrow. Thank you very much. 
So as much of this as we can get rid of tonight. Oh, good morning. Whew. So sleeping on a rocky hill was, uh, it was probably as expected. It was all right. I moved most of the rocks and um, I can't remember what I'm saying. I moved most of the rocks and yeah, it was just a slight hill. So there was a bit of sliding off the sleeping mat. We, we, was, we was in bed at what, 9.30 I think? I slept through till 12 and I had to have a wee and then uh, I think I woke up at 4 briefly and uh, and now it's it's about 8 o'clock I think so it wasn't too bad I'm just uh, on the walk of shame looking Looking for a nice spot to make my mark. Uh, also, just looking at the view. It's pretty cool. Boy. So on today's agenda, I think, is walking to another place to camp, essentially. So... Uh, not sure how long of a walk. That's pretty cool. Someone leave their Christmas tree in there. So this morning we're on we're on Wayfair all day breakfast again a new experience which was cooked for me very kindly by Rob not by John he's a <laughs> take that take that bit out yeah no, Rob Rob put this on for me because. Uh, He's a generous soul. Wow, chunks of bacon in there. So a quick rundown of um, where we went yesterday and uh, and where we're planning to go today. As uh, chief navigator and captain, John's gonna John's gonna take you through it. So we started here in uh, Istradfeld and parked the car, came down this road and then picked up this footpath, came up here, found this road came down and uh, made our way over to the cave where we had lunch, which you'll see in no doubt all of our videos. Uh, and from there, then we, we hoofed it straight across. Well, that was the hard bit. This was the hard bit, the hard leg. And then down here where we picked up uh, this footpath through the ford where we filled up with water, up and across the road, and then we came up into this area, which is uh, where we've camped. And uh, today, we're going to sort of head over here into this lovely woodland area, pick up some of this these waterfalls down here, perhaps, perhaps this this stream and camp in this sort of area tonight. Awesome. 
Where are we now? Let's put your finger there for a second. Thank you, John. That's all right. Any time. Through gritted teeth. Right, we're all packed and ready. Time for a walk. So, day two, here we come. Hopefully we find woods and waterfalls. <laughs> and rubble whistle. Rubble whistle so we know where he is. Time to go whistle. That's yeah. Therefore. yeah. Time to go. Time to go. No, the pack is warming me up. This is sorrel, wild sorrel. And you know because it's got these two forks. Okay. The only thing that looks anything like it is, it's called Lords and Ladies and it grows with a quite a phallic, berry covered thing. Um, they're slightly bitter at this time of year, but when they get bigger towards the end of the summer, they've got a wonderful, they don't taste like a green leaf, they taste more like a citrusy, underripe, sort of blackberry flavor. Yeah, that's the one. You might want to get a bigger one, it might be a better flavour. Is it going in, John? Is it going in? Yeah. Mm. Get a big burst of kind of underripe blackberry. Yeah. Um, this this one great leader, forager. <laughs> this one's for my mum. <laughs> Hi, mum. Nice bit more, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? Mm. You can cook it, render it down. And butter, and yeah. um, use it like a like a rhubarb. My mum, my mum's growing it in her garden. Mm. Puts it in the salad with all the mixed leaves and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that'd be nice. So you can cook it down with a sweet. Even though it looks like a dark green paste. Wouldn't beat my blackberries yesterday, but you know. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's refreshing. Those blackberries. My breakfast. Love this all. There is mm. tons. Maybe we should just lunch here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to eat a fair bit of it to get filled up. Yeah. Are those berries there? You know what those are? Mountain ash. So they're just rolling. Yeah. They eat them. Well done, lads. You're learning. You're learning. <laughs> Mountain ash. Also known as the uh, rowan. Up in that tree. In the comments, yeah. Give me problems. Don't forget that. Go with people that know them more than you. That's my oh, advice. You're in trouble. That's my advice for any camping and hiking trip. Go with someone else who knows stuff. Maybe bring wine. Yeah. Wine. Strong enough to carry wine and water. Pack up and get in trouble. Yeah. And navigate. Yeah. Otherwise, oh. I'd have just been walking around the car park. I love good <laughs> Pineapple weed. Pineapple weed. It grows a lot in, in car parks. If you take that, squeeze it, rub it between your fingers, that, that little yellow head, and then smell the head. Oh, okay. I can't find my camera. Where is it there? Ooh, yeah. Give it a squeeze. You don't even have to squeeze it. it smells pineapple. Mmm, it does, yeah. yeah. And you can use that to make pineapple flavoured syrups. Cool. It's not edible though. Well, you wouldn't want to eat it on its, its own. In its form Try. now. Try. Give it a go. Sounds nice. Probably yeah, just tastes a bit bitter, but you use it to infuse teas and things. Cut the rashes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's pineapple weed. There you go, it's another one. Yeah, you're on it now. Yeah. Do you know what this tree up here is? Oh, yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> I think that's. Very, I believe it's mountain ash. Another one. We've come down here to the road. Down the road. And um, meandered our way through here, and we are now there on that junction. There. And we're now going to go down, 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 up, and then over into here. Thank you, Ducky. Where all the waterfalls are. Yep. So, 
lunch is over. We've safely negotiated getting out from under that bridge. It was a bit slippery. And, uh, and we're walking on. So yeah, it's another, it's another good hour or two till we get to the woods, I think. So we'll come back. We'll come back in a while. Let's get my bag on. We've left the fields. We're into the woodland. And that is our path. Just a little bit prickly. So uh, I'm going to go first and hit things so the two boys in shorts can uh, stroll through without scratching themselves. And John's just double checking the map, make sure we are going the right way. And uh, that's, what I've, uh, that's what I've cleared so far. Breaking trail. So we just stopped while John takes a walk of shame. <laughs> I'm not John. And, uh, oh, we just beat our way through that. Well, let me tell you a story. <laughs> we uh, beat our way through a, a, a reasonable amount of uh, blackberries. Oh, good. And uh, until I decided that I had no idea where I was when the others pointed out that we may have we may have missed a path so where I stopped and filmed just now uh, there was a little there was a little path and the last little bit of where I was clearing I don't know if it's a rabbit hole or what but my foot went down a large hole full of water up to my knee it was funny and uh, <laughs> I, uh, I came a cropper and if I was on my own I'd still be there now, because I couldn't get out. And, uh, thankfully, John rescued me, because he's, you know, qualified. Whatever, whatever he's qualified as. Hill walking, something, something. Yeah, no, thanks, thanks, John, for pulling me out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, rest up and then carry on. It is. Quarter three. Nearly supper time. So we're definitely in the woods now. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Pine forest here. Lovely little path that we're on, so it's not too hard going. And we can hear the waterfalls. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. But you can definitely hear waterfalls. So we must be getting there. Yeah, this is this is a uh, jungle trek today gone from rolling fields to uh, to a bit of rainforest ah lots of prickly things that's good it's very good found our first major waterfall of the day Pretty cool. Long way down. So we're by the edge of a little cliff. <laughs> Pretty down there. Right. Rugged. Yeah. Making my knees oh, go funny right. whenever I turn around there. following a footpath we've given up on the waterfalls because they were full of tourists so we've given up on uh, camping at the falls we're heading somewhere else now just trying to get away from other people as is the way so we'll, uh, we'll come back as and when look at this more challenging 
than it looks, you know. <laughs> isn't it? Strictly speaking, it should all be roped off. Rob's making it like a champion. Done. Yeah. Tent is tent is up. Oh. Dinner is ready. Sorry. <laughs> John's just having a little moment to himself. Oh yeah, gonna eat in a minute. I might blow my mattress up while I'm keen. Other than that, I'm done. your best bit? Rob. Dan likes the camp life. What's your um, favourite bit about this sort of adventure? I know what it is. I know what it is as well. <sighs> well, I think I know what you two are referring to. It's, uh, no, I've just been outdoors and uh, with my mates oh, and uh, a bit it. of fresh air. Well, camping. It's the wild camping, isn't it? No, oh, well, that's just too obvious. Oh. I, was get, I was getting to that, but you interrupted me. What's my favourite bit? Going home? <laughs> the muddy paws. <laughs> or cloven hooves. Yeah. Out here. Mm. Now, what's your best bit? This bit. Teaching others. No, this bit. This bit. Sit next to me. Quite like adventuring and, and, mm. and looking at... Um, so I, I don't get to see a lot of... Uh, the wild edibles that we've seen today, I don't get to see mm. a lot of those yeah. regularly. Sorrel, yeah, sorrel being one. There's only a few taught places. Taught me sorrel, really blackberries. My mum's back back Well, yeah. And I'll just go there. Just oh. forage around in there. Some tree that I've forgotten. I hope that's not prison slang for anything. <laughs> Telling me to forage around in your mum's back garden. <laughs> just lowers the tone, doesn't it? Just lowers <laughs> the tone. <laughs> Should we just go out next time? Just me and you, just leave it. <laughs> Might get a bit lost though. That's anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we just go round and round the car park. Got various McDonald's in circles. <laughs> I like to, to be honest, I quite you know, like. watches this channel. <laughs> yeah. 
quite like when we... Uh, We've heard a lot about you. So I'll take that out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll put it in mine though. <laughs> I, I quite like the uh, today when we left that. We left one bit and we hit that pine forest. Oh yeah, yeah you, were, was, you were in your element in there, weren't you? Really cool. I loved it. That was it. pretty cool, wasn't you? It just it felt quite remote. Was that mm. after falling down the hole? Yeah, uh, I quite enjoyed falling it? down the hole. <laughs> that was a that was a bit of camaraderie. Yeah, mm. it was good fun. I like, you know, health and safety wise that you filled it in afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good like that. Put my bag down, went back, filled it in. <sighs> God help the next person who falls into that. <laughs> you can't fall into that anymore. <laughs> With a proper job on it. A proper joby. Yeah, you know, well, that cloud's coming in, isn't it? Be all that, those prunes, yeah, I think it's oh raining God. over there by the looks of it. You can see a line of it, yeah. Yeah, on the line, yeah. Coming this way. Mm -hmm. mm, these clouds are sort of in that way, aren't they? Yeah, they might miss us. I think it's crossed. So, I know I'm asking for a lot to be able to pack up dry tomorrow, but that will be a real yeah. bonus. If it gets halfway across them fields, I'm going to go and. I don't even mind if stuff it, in the tent. If we can pack away dry and then it starts raining, I don't mind. So I'm yeah, having yeah, a dry yeah, tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. sleeping bag but yeah it's really cold not quite sure why I think I've got a chill um, from <sighs> sitting out we sat out and had dinner I took my shoes off I had bare feet and it was very cold then my feet froze so I'm not sure that did me any good I think it may be very cold but anyway we survived the night nonetheless Yeah, so it's raining, so I think I think it could be a pack up and dive in the car job. I'm not sure if anyone else is up yet. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to open my door and have a look outside. Oh, see what the weather's doing. <laughs> 